What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I've got a Q&A for you guys. Can't nothing stop me, I'm on the road. Always on time cause my eyes is on my rodeo legs. So the first question is from JC130 and it says, who is the best Fortnite player in the 2K community? If you scroll down a little bit, you'll, you'll see something, you'll see an answer, but I don't agree with it. So in my opinion, there are some really good people in the 2K community that play Fortnite and probably my top five out of the people that I've heard of and the people that I watch are Mopi, TD Presents, Nadex, G Sites, and Mind of Rez. And the best one out of all of those in my opinion is TD Presents because he has some really entertaining Fortnite content and he gets like 10 kills every time he wins, something around there. So that's why I think he's the best Fortnite player in the 2K community. The second question is from KJ and it says, if you compare your Fortnite skills to an NBA player, who would it be? So this one took me a while to figure out, like to think of, but if I were to pick a player to compare myself to, at least my Fortnite skills to their NBA skills, I would probably pick Kelly Olynyk because he's an above average player, but it's not like he's a great player or anything like that. Like in Fortnite, I think I'm above average, but I'm not that good. So the next question is from Joe and it says thoughts on Trey Burke. So I think Trey Burke is kind of like Kelly Olynyk, where he's above average, but he's not that great or anything. Like they both have their games where they can go off, especially Trey Burke. He dropped like 42 the other night, but yeah, he's not like a crazy good player, but he is above average. Our next question is from Hoopers. This question's a really good one. It says top five basketball players all time and current. So on my top five basketball players of all time list, First, I have Jordan, second, I have LeBron, third, I have Kareem, fourth, I have Magic, and fifth, I have Larry Bird. And on my top five players that are currently in the NBA, first, I have LeBron, second, I have Kevin Durant, third, I have Steph Curry, fourth, I have James Harden, and then fifth, I have Anthony Davis. The next question is from Leg. It says, who has a higher vertical, you or Randy? So we can both touch rim, but neither of us can dunk. My vertical is a little bit higher than his, but not by that much. By the way, I'm a huge fan. Hope to get your autograph someday. Okay, next question. Here we got a question from Max, the Celtics fan. Who's your favorite NBA player and your second favorite team? So my favorite NBA player is obviously Dwayne Wade. If you don't know that by now, I don't know what you're doing. And my second favorite team in the NBA, I don't have one, but if the Heat get eliminated from the playoffs or if they don't make the playoffs or whatever, I tend to root for Chris Paul's team, so like I have been rooting for the Clippers and they haven't had good luck. But this year, if the Heat get eliminated, I'm gonna root for the Rockets since Chris Paul is my second favorite player. Our next question is from DLB and it says, what will you upload when Fortnite dies out? So I really hope that Fortnite doesn't die out because it's such a fun game, everyone loves to play it and I enjoy making videos on it. But if it ever dies out, I'm gonna switch to 2K19 if that is not dead, hopefully, they actually do the things they promised in 2k19 i have no idea what they're gonna do they promised so many things they didn't deliver so if that game also dies along with fortnite i have no idea what i'm gonna upload i'm probably gonna do irl videos or like story times or skits or stuff like that probably the next question is from puma and it's basically asking what are my favorite fortnite skins well my favorite skin overall is probably the hyperion skin I really like that skin. I'm happy that I actually got it because at first I wasn't thinking about getting it, but I actually did get it and I do not regret that at all. It's probably my favorite skin in the whole game. And my second favorite skin, probably the Love Ranger. I don't have that many skins. I have only six because I have the battle pass, but I've actually never spent money on Fortnite. I only have Save the World because one of my friends had a code. Shout out to you, Jaden. And that helps me get V-Bucks to buy the battle pass, basically. So I'm not going to spend money on the game, but if I do have V-Bucks, I'm going to end up buying some skins. I really hope the Raven skin comes out actually today. Like I'm probably going to be uploading this video after eight o'clock so you guys can see if it's out or not, but it's actually before eight o'clock right now. My next question is from Jaden. Will you legally adopt me when you're over 18? next question is from puma and it says will you be leaving 2k as a whole if 2k19 is bad so if 2k19 is bad i'm definitely gonna leave because 2k18 the gameplay was better than 17 i think but other than that the game was just bad like it's 
it's not that it's really a bad game it's just that it's so repetitive like they didn't really add any new things and they ended up taking out things they took out traveling to different parks they took out mascots they didn't add underwater park yeezys stuff that they promised so yeah 2k19 is bad i'm completely done with that like i might still do some basketball stuff on this channel depending on what happens with fortnite i may make another channel for basketball stuff like how jester and lsk have gaming channels and then basketball channels i might do something like that if this channel does really good with fortnite i just really hope 2k19 is not a flop like 2k18 was our last question is from Jaden, and it says do you love me um only partly she said do you love me i tell her only partly yeah i only love my bed and my mom i'm sorry 50 <laughs> I got a million times. Suit talk like time four when I top back in a five. So alive, I could die right now. Come back, still alive. You was fake with the handshake. Now you come back, still a fives. On the one umbrella, my left about a grandmama crib. Then I went back to the ways. Went back to the field. Had to hit a step back for the plays.